Hello, Veteran0121 here. Welcome back. This is another episode of Chrono Trigger. It is party time. And I don't think Robo is in the partying mood. Yeah, he looks depressed. Although, what, is he actually eating? Robots don't need to eat. Alright. Now he looks like she's going to have a good time. <laughs> so basically during this sequence you need to talk to all the, uh, all the NPCs. Boonga Boonga. There's this guy, Kino. Well, I don't know, maybe she's just being hospitable. What's wrong with uh, throwing a party? For guests. It's not like you guys have anything better to do, right? Special Jurassic pork soup. Oh, so. All right, so they're giving us some good information here. Apparently the reptites are intelligent. At least more intelligent than the average reptiles, I would imagine. Okay. So, don't I just gotta talk to you again? Get this going? <laughs> again, I don't understand how, how Robo is actually eating here. Wouldn't that mess up his circuitry? Does he have like a Mr. Fusion built into his fucking, uh, his design or something like that, you know, like with the, uh, the DeLorean and Back to the Future 2. Sure. L and R, X, Y, B to dance. Okay, so we gotta press every, every button but, uh, but A, I guess. Wow, isn't this fun? Alright, I'm done. want to do. Soup race. Oh boy. Oh yay. Mash the A button a bunch of times like a fucking monkey. Alright. I can do that. I don't think I'm going to be as fast as Isla though. Holy shit, look at her go. Damn. Oh, look at that. I won. Yeah, I mean, that, this kind of game is dangerous, man. Too much of anything can kill you.
Yeah, apparently it seems to knock our asses out. So I guess uh, prehistoric soup is their version of booze, maybe? Wait a minute, we can't use the gate without it, right? Or is it just, if we use the gate without it, we'll turn up anywhere in time? I, I guess that's what it is. Hey. Wake up. Alright, so at this point we have, uh, well, Robo takes priority. But yeah, we have to use Chrono and Isla right now, but uh, that's alright. Alright, so let's take a look around. here but there may be like an elder or somebody to talk to but I guess not bring three each of any two items and I'll give you one weapon or one item oh I have nothing huh Okay, so a pedal and fang is a ruby gun. We can get a sage bow, a stone arm, flint edge, which I think is a new weapon for Chrono. And yeah, we can get a ruby vest and a rock helm, which I'll be trying to get uh, for like you know most most of my characters here. Yeah, the ruby vest is strong against fire. We're definitely gonna gonna want that. It's gonna be nice. Yeah, you can find all that stuff in the hunting range. Okay, so they went to the forest maze. I guess that's a little who we get that that's where we need to go next. Although I won't be going there next because, uh, where's Kino? What are you trying to say? I'm trying to say that he was involved in this shit? Hey, nice. Thanks for the tonic. Follow print, find layer. All right. So yeah, let's go to this hunting ground area. Uh, let's see, yeah, Isla, she comes with a... Oh, she already has a rock helmet and a ruby vest. Well, isn't that convenient? Power scarf, though? Gotta be something better than that. Yeah, like a rage band? That's way better. That'll make it so she counterattacks more good for her because she's more of a physical attacker yeah she starts out with nothing so you got to learn all her uh her skills or whatever but they're all pretty good she does learn a tech called uh charm which is extremely useful it's basically this ver this game's version of steel and uh yeah i'm going to be prioritizing that while she's in my party for sure i want to get her that as soon as possible it's really good Especially against bosses, because you can get some rare items from them. 
Oh, looky, a frog. Ooh, three frogs. Yeah, the battle music in this area is a little different. rocket roll. I guess we're not getting tech points in this area right now. Which kind of stinks a little bit. And yeah, when it's raining like this, this is where you can, uh, you can find the new, the rare, the rare guy. Although you might not find them while you're wandering around here. You gotta be quick, and for some reason I'm stuck. What the fuck? I'm trying to go back down and now I'm stuck. Um. Oh. Yeah, sometimes it is confusing on where to go next. There's all the brush in the foreground. Alright, these guys look like slash material. I guess you do get tech points, never mind. Just not very many. Oh, there he is. This is the blue new that we gotta kill. Uh, nah, just attack. I don't remember if this guy runs away. Oh shit, he puts her HP down to nothing. Yeah, I forgot about that. Yeah, I think if he hits you again with that, that kills you? Yeah, I got him. Yeah, 30 tech points. That's pretty awesome. And for defeating him, we get three horns of everything. Or we get three of everything, not three horns of everything. And a third eye, which is an accessory that is good or not good, depending on when you... Oh, well, it's, it's an accessory that doubles your evade stat. Um... I suppose that could be good in certain situations. I don't really use it all that much, but it's not bad. Maybe give it to a character that has low physical defense. That'll help them out if you have nothing better to give them, but chances are you probably do have something better to give them. So I don't know. I wouldn't worry about that accessory too much. Yeah, more froggies.
Yeah, I got pretty lucky with that blue new. He showed up when it rained pretty close to where I already was at, but a lot of times it's pretty hard to find the guy. I thought there was, like, a few treasure chests in this area, but maybe my memory is uh, a little screwy in that regard. Fight one of these again. Oh, I screwed that up. Oh, wow, that does a lot. It does a lot more than I thought it was going to do. Now, but Isla, she's mainly a physical attacker. Uh, she does not learn magic. For some reason, even though she is, I guess, technically human. But yeah, her, uh, her techs are not magical. None, none of them will be. But she can catch you and make you better. So that's good, I guess. Alright, well, I guess I gotta leave the area because the enemies are. taking their sweet time respawning. I don't think I've ever had a battle start simultaneously when rain starts before. Weird how it makes the uh, the text box, you know, and shit look all fucking purple. Oh, there he is. Although I don't think I'll be able to get to him in time. Nope. Probably not. Oh, no, maybe so. <laughs> but yeah, this is a good way to, uh, to grind out tech points, I guess. No? Ow. Yeah, I need to stop using my mid-tonic so much. I need to start using healing techs. Okay, I guess we can't get a second third eye. So that's a one-time thing. Well, still. It's still worth it, because you get all those tech points, you get all those fucking ingredients. So, uh... Yeah, it's, it's totally worth it.
Yeah, time to leave and save up. First, I'm going to prioritize some weapons. Oh, shit. Yeah, I don't remember. Uh, can I just cancel? Yeah, okay. That's how you cancel. If you choose uh, the same ingredient twice, you can cancel it. In case, you know, you don't want to, you're like, you're not sure what the hell the... Uh, Freaking combinations are here. Yes, I want to know items. Fang and horn, flint edge. Much better. Fuck yeah. Alright, so what are the weapons we have here? Stone arm, yeah, pedal and feather. Pedal and fang, pedal and horn. Pedal and fang, pedal and horn, okay. Yeah, I probably shouldn't be doing this all on screen, but what the fuck ever. Yeah, that's an upgrade. It's the equipment or the armor. I don't remember <laughs> talking to the wrong guy again. Fang and feather ruby vest. Now I got enough for uh, got enough for two. Which is something. I don't need one for Luca because she's got the Taban vest. And that is going to be way better. 
than a ruby vest, other than maybe defense. I don't know. Well, she's got that. That gives her a speed boost. So that's what I like a lot with that. Nadia and Rovo, though, I could use a freaking ruby vest for sure, and a rock helm. But anyways, yeah, I'm gonna end the episode right here. Uh, at the start of the next episode, I'll have all the equipment that I need. If I have to go back to the hunting range, I will to get a few extra items. But that's the hunting range. As you saw, I showed it off to the best of... I don't think I missed anything in the area, did I? Anyways, that's all for this episode of Chrono Trigger. I hope you enjoyed this episode. And then the next, we'll be heading down, uh, we'll be heading down to the, uh, what is it, the forest maze. What the fuck is it called again? Yeah, we'll be doing that in the next episode. See you next time.